Hello, today I'm going to show you how to charge AC uh, on your BMW 7 Series E66. Basically the procedure is the same for any BMW or any car, but in this video I'm specifically showing where the port is located and how you can charge the AC. Okay, let's go and show you the engine. I turn my engine on and my AC on the high. Lowest temperature and high. Uh, okay, so you have two ports basically here. This is your high pressure port, and that one down there uh, is the low pressure port. Actually, there was a cap I already removed. It's a little bit inaccessible, but. Let me show you how it works. You need a can of refrigerant, 12A, um, and you need this actually two to one port. This side goes to your low pressure port, and the other side goes to your can, refrigerant can. So as you see, there is a needle inside. So this needle will make a hole in your can. What you are going to do at the beginning, you need to open this one all the way up to make sure when I'm connecting the can is not uh, making a hole on the can at the beginning. Okay, so needle is up. And there's a thread on the top of the can. Can close your can. Make sure it's secure and tight. And never forget your safety gloves and uh, safety glasses. Okay. Um, actually, for you guys, it's better to turn the engine and connect this one. But anyway, I know there is nothing over there, so I can connect it. Um, the way it works, you need to pull this cap up and connect it to low pressure port and then leave it and then gets locked. So let's start. Okay, it's locked. So you can see your gauge in here. I'm in the blue area. Actually, I have some refrigerant, but I need to charge it a little bit. I'm going to show you the process. Usually when it goes down below in the white area, blows the hot air. But mine is not too bad, but I'm going to add a little bit to show you the procedure. So as soon as I'm closing the valve in here, that needle will make a hole inside of the on the top of the can. But the refrigerant is still not flowing because um, that needle is blocking the way. So as soon as I open the, uh, this valve, the refrigerant will flow to the pipe and then go to my low pressure. But let it go slowly. You can hear a sound that is flowing. see it started flowing if you see the gauge is moving but this is not the actual reading you need to close it and then read it so I need to add more always let it go slowly and don't overcharge your AC to the red area you can shake it or take it downward so make sure it's flowing again close it give it a rest and read it I'm 
not sure if you can hear the sound or not. The refrigerant is moving inside. I'm closing it. Reading again.